Uh, September is National Courtesy Month, and it's a good time to be reminded of how our actions affect others. Mm -hmm. Court standing by with our civility expert, Rosalinda Randall, to get some tips on how to be mindful of how we interact with each other. Indeed, and I just feel like it's always nice, first of all, to see you, Rosalinda, but it's like a, a breath of fresh air just to be reminded that kindness is really very groovy. Thank you, <laughs> groovy, yeah, cool, and yeah, man, and all yes. the things, all the things. At least it should be. It should be. Mm -hmm. um, I will say this, I am a huge fan of someone, if they make a mistake, if they, if they you know, are in error of some way, if they own up to it, that speaks volumes of character. Uh, definitely, yeah. and also, wouldn't we want the same, yeah. you know, yeah. just, just opportunity? Um, for us, so yeah, misunderstandings, um, th there are so many, especially with texting too. Right. Sometimes even my husband will just go, okay, after I poured my guts out, like that's all you've got for me, <laughs> but I know him, so I understand. Yeah. But before, you know, hopping on social media or anything, privately, calmly, clear it up with the person and mm -hmm. just say, you know, you said this and I took it this way, is that what you meant? Is that what you meant, okay. So simple, and if they say yes, well then now you know how to deal with it. Right. But they just, you know, many times it'll be, what, what are you talking about? And you can just clear things up and save so many relationships that way. And you say you should give people the, the space and time to do so. I believe so. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't we want that if we're curt with someone just because, and you know, sometimes it's subconscious, we're just yeah. in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't want them to take that personally and give us a chance like, hey, what's wrong with you today? Oh gosh, catch us and go, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, you say that the way we speak to people, be tactful. I, there is no other way for yeah. me. Maybe that's because of how I was raised. My mm -hmm. parents never raised their voice to us, to each other. Mm -hmm. I, I, I never heard anything. But to me, that is the core of how we communicate. And for me, I have these filters, boundaries, principles, whatever you want to call them, that before I respond to anyone, whether I know you or not, I run them through this filter. Okay. I just don't see how you can have a productive conversation if you don't have your boundaries and standards because how you behave, how you speak to me is really irrelevant to me because you are not going to affect my dignity and my integrity on how I speak back to you. Mm, so that's, like that. that's where I come from. I won't lose my dignity and integrity for you. And I feel like that's connected to, as you, you were talking about, um, being con in control. If you know that you're in a bad mood, you got to figure out how to control. Yes, and we're always in a bad mood, and our right. family usually sees that a little more often than other people. <laughs> Thank you for forgiving us. Uh, but we all do that. You know, at work, it's a little bit different. Sometimes we come in, your coworkers know you. But if it, you're, to me, the, the rougher part, the more difficult person, is one day they're willing to, oh, share everything with yeah. you. And then the next day, if they're in a bad mood, don't even approach them. Mm -hmm. And if you are in a bad mood and you do say something, Go back and apologize. Bring in donuts or, you know, bagels yes. the next day. Yeah, that was full circle. Brings it right back to that first point. Mm -hmm. Be willing to, to own up to it if you make a mistake. That's all it takes. All right. It just seems so common sense. It is. But sometimes it just isn't that easy. No, I yeah. think our ego gets in the way. Yeah. I, I don't know what it is yeah. that prevents us from extending the olive yeah. branch, and we need that so much right now. Well, it's a great month to remind us uh, with Courtesy Month. Thank you so much for coming in. Uh, she is the author of Don't pleasure. Burp in the Boardroom. We're going to link all the details for Rosalinda Randall to our website, goodaysacramento.com, under show info and today's date. Thank right. you. Back to you.